Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Residence of Fate on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we spent, uh, well, not very much time, but a little bit uh, of time clearing out various uh, squares on the map with our energy X's, and we got two more bezel shards, making another full bezel, which is nice, and a whole bunch of other junk. And then we took on some red squares. I think it was a level 9 or 10, I think. Uh, over here by the Freud Remnants. And now we're in the Freud Remnants trying to get stuff. Um, I don't know if this is like the big part in here, the abandoned energy station. So I don't want to go into it yet and have it be like the main appeal here. But you know what, let's check it out. Uh, oh, it's the energy station. I thought it was like something else. Uh, you know, how is our health? I don't know. But we're going to rest anyways just to make sure. It's very nice that they put a nice little... Uh, rest station here. I thought it, when I said station, I thought it meant like a, um, a like a real pain in the ass area, you know, like the rest of the area, except with more rooms. Ooh, this only has one room. Shitty thug. Unless I'm missing something here, there's not a whole lot of stuff in here. And there's a dog. Okay. I don't know where the dog came from, but he was kind of in the way a little bit. And you know what? Let's get the pooch. That way the pooch doesn't screw us. We screw him. Fantastic. We're not going to have to worry about you. Yeah, Bunker, get out of the way. Get you. Get you. And hopefully there's only one more left. Yeah, just that guy. And can we get you more than just one round there? No. Okay. So, luckily, the dogs, which were camoed by the Bunkers, aren't going to put up a problem. So that makes my life happy. That should get past your shields, I think. Yes, perfect. I love it. We could smack you down just a little bit. There you go. I don't think it matters how many uh, charges you get when you smack them down. I think it's just uh, as long as you smack them down. Like, I don't think if you charge it up to like uh, your current level, you get extra stuff out of them. At least not as far as I can tell. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, we got a couple energy X's and a whole bunch of chips. Uh, now, is there actually any reason to be in here? It does not look like it. Okay, so this particular station is a waste. Okay, well, we tried. There's still, I think, two more areas that we can check out of here. Uh, let's see, the rune site. Oh, there's a central right there. That's the big one, I'm guessing. Fair enough. Oh, we got a leader. Uh, we got a couple leaders. You know what? Let's uh, take out the uh, leader dog first. That way we don't got to deal with uh, the rest of his little cronies. There you go. Fantastic. Good, but okay. I guess this guy is in cahoots with the uh, the human. I guess fair enough. Man's best friend and all that junk, jazz, whatever. Uh, you? No. Um. Uh, there you go. That's the guy right there. The leader. That's what I'm trying to target. Okay. Train. Get out of the way, please. There you go. Luckily, the building terrain didn't actually get in the way completely. So we're good to go. Goodbye. Kill the dog. Thank you. And some energy X's. Perfect. Okay, so we gotta get to the east ruins if we 
can, that'd be great, thanks. Uh, who the heck are we targeting? Just, I think it's just that one leader guy right there. Okay, so let's get him out of the way, I guess. Goodbye. And we have completely scratch damage. Beautiful. That makes my life so much easier if we can just uh, scratch damage him in one turn and get rid of the evidence. Good night, sir. Okay. Now, feel free to have anything uh, good in here. That'd be fantastic. And feel free for the uh, main attraction to only be like two floors. That'd also be fantastic. Um, okay, we got dogs, bloodhounds, and duelists. Okay, let's uh, focus on the uh, duelists first, I guess. There you go. Take you out. And not for dinner, that's for sure. Uh, let's go for you. Good night, sir. If I can get a little bit of damage on you, that'd be great. But your shield is probably going to be in the way. Yeah. Damn, pistols. How come they get bazookas and I don't? I want a bazooka. Alright, goodbye, dog. Now, where's your other little doggy buddy? Yeah, right there. Uh... Goodbye for you. Now, I want to attack this guy. Just for the fact we might be able to get rid of some of his armor. Sometimes we can, but other times, not so much. Okay, no such luck there. I feel like we might have got something, but I don't think we actually did. Take out a little bit of your health there, but not enough to actually make a difference. Come on, you should be just about dead. Sometimes that last little bit of health just really hangs on. It really makes it a pain in the ass to get through for whatever reason. It's like, hey, we want to get that little sliver left, but we're not going to let you uh, take it down just because, well, it'd be unsportsmanlike, old chap. You know, you can't have a nice, quick victory to get out of this stuff. Okay, we destroyed part of your shield. That works. And now we just gotta destroy the rest. And you're doing a fantastic uh, balancing act up there, sir. Goodbye. Uh, I don't care about your armor at all. Now if I could actually... Okay, we actually are in here. I was going to say if I could get to the area that I'm trying to get to, that'd be perfect, but we actually are here. I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. For some reason, I thought we were in a battle on the uh, the map part outside, but nope. Okay. There's our gold star over there. Uh, Shady Thug. Okay, that background is in the way. Okay, we got Shady Thug, we got a dog, we got another dog. I'm gonna get the dogs out of the way just to not deal with them. There you go. Target that guy. There you go. I didn't even see that guy in the background over there. He's kind of camouflaged by the... I'm not sure what he's camouflaged by, but he was not very visible, that's for sure. How the heck are you still alive? You got like a sliver of armor left and you're still kicking. Okay, you're stunned, which is nice. Makes things a little easier to deal with. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure there's no other items to get uh, 
after the battle before we accidentally blow them up or something. So we've done that before. We have accidentally blown up uh, our prize, thinking, hey, we're supposed to attack it during the heat of battle. But then I turned out I was wrong, and that's not what we're supposed to do. And throwing grenades at me is not cool. But that's just what you gotta do. Fair enough. You have your priorities, I have mine. Can I get the last little bit of health? Thanks, guy. Okay, feel free to get a nice charge on that guy. There you go. Perfect. For some reason, that big giant uh, oil drum can wearing dude is easier to deal with than the dogs. Not sure how that works out, but it does. go and you I have no armor that makes my life nice and easy like thank you you don't have any armor but you're taking plenty of damage maybe you did have some armor and I just didn't see it oh you have it in the back okay I was looking at the front part and I just didn't see his uh, armor options there There we go, a couple spec downs, a couple damage, beautiful. And however many chips that we need, perfect. Alright, now what do we got hiding over here? Please be like a super duper ultra mega powerful machine gun that does extra damage and direct damage, that'd be awesome. I'm actually kind of curious, I'm not sure if I've uh, voiced this thought before, but I wonder what would happen if you uh, dual wielded a, oh, an ice proof suit. That probably reduces damage against uh, ice by a fair amount. Probably doesn't make you like immune to anything. Probably just gives a nice reduction. But I wonder what happened if you dual wielded a machine gun and a pistol at the same time. Would you just do scratch damage while and then immediately uh like take it off or what? Or would it just uh, not work out very well for reasons? I don't know. Maybe maybe I, maybe I could look it up off screen and see what happens, but. Yeah, I'm not really too concerned. Okay, central, that's where we gotta get to. And, okay, we can't go through like that right there to get over there. Uh, Alright, good, we made it over here without any battles. Perfect, let's do it. Feel free to be able to be like two rooms. Hey, it is two rooms, what do you know? Or two rooms, not two ruins. Okay, there's a bunch of dogs in here, and that's pretty much it, I think. Okay, I think I have a plan for this. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but I do have a semi-plan here. If I could get all the dogs to, like, attack me, that'd be great. Like, if they could attack, like, one person, that'd be fantastic. There we go. Okay, this actually works out pretty good. I was going to say uh, I'm going to toss a grenade in their direction and when well, they're all bunched up like that, but they're actually working out pretty nice on the whole uh, bunching up thing. So I can just uh, pick them off like this. This works out pretty good. Okay, got your shield. There you go. Now if I can get your shield too, that'd be great. Okay, your shield appears to be compromised as well. Perfect. That means I can just go ahead and clobber you little bastards. Uh, let's go. Let's go over here. Let's stop on this thing right here. I don't think the dogs can jump up here to like attack me. If they can, well, tough. I'll suffer the consequences, but I don't think they can. Perfect. Okay, good. You guys are just about ready to die here. Good night. Do not slash me with your non-invisible or your invisible katana that I can't see at this point. I think that's what happened last time when they stopped me in my tracks is they just slashed me with something and I just didn't see it for whatever reason. Uh, where is our exit strategy to the next room? Okay, right there, green. This turned out to be a reasonably short area. I like it. Let's 
Okay, let's see here. Gas tank, which is great. Uh, but where are they? Okay, there's our gold. I'm going to go ahead and target this guy. Hopefully he comes over here. That'd be great. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and see how this works here. Not sure if it's going to be awesome or not, but not quite what I was going for. I was going for a uh, Zephyr's turn. I thought I switched over to him, but I guess I did not. Okay, this is going to hurt our party, probably. But you know what? It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay, it didn't hurt our party that much. Very nice. Okay, that worked out pretty good. I thought I was going to have to uh, lose a bunch of uh, HP on either Vacheron or Leon there. But, yeah, we worked it out pretty well. Perfect. Yeah, it's a nice little easy area here. We probably could have done it a while ago. I just managed to, uh, well, not, I guess. And you're right behind it. Great. Uh, can we just, like, jump up here? That'd be great. Thanks. I guess you have to get a running start. Alright, what do you got? Three energy X's. That's... I came in here for three energy X's. I can get those at the, the arena. Ah, well. Whatever. Okay, I think we got everything in here. So I think we can just go ahead and... Uh, exit out and head back to our original goal of somewhere else. Okay, we got north. We got east. We got west. Okay, so everything in here is taken care of. Let's get out of here. We don't need to rest or save, I don't think. I think we have all our bezels. Okay, yeah, we're good to go. So, let's go back to level 9. Um, Dakota Vane, we've already been over there. That's where we got the uh, machine gun earlier, I think. So, we don't need to worry about it. Now the other place we gotta go is called like Etsy or something like that, which I think is the name of like a fabric shop in real life. I think right something about like arts and crafts. I think I'm not entirely sure, but I, that's what I think I heard. Let me look around just to make sure. Okay, so Albona, that's the city. We've already been there. Um, that's our energy station, which I don't care about. That's the station to level eleven where we need to go. Um, Oh, Etsy, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the station that doesn't really go anywhere that I don't care about yet. Okay, so Etsy, yeah. Uh, nice little slum type area there for us. We could try to hook up some of these terminals, but eh, it's more trouble than it's worth at the moment, I think. C block, L block, a whole bunch of blocks. Uh, okay, there's another energy station here, so that makes our life easy to deal with. Alright, let's go to C block then, shall we? Alright, uh, Chunky Gangster, Chunky Gangster, Chunky Gangster. As long as there's no, like, dogs in here, I don't really care. Ooh, there's a bronze box down there somewhere. Um... Uh, This seems like it would be a nice, easy, profitable area. Except for the fact that we'll get uh, a lot of energy X's and there's no dogs. That means we can stay at a reasonably distant uh, range if we need to. 
Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, good. Got him. And now we can actually see where everything's at. So it's not a bad layout. It's just we started up uh, higher off, which seems like it should be a good thing. But I think it here is actually slightly more irritating than it is uh, helpful. Especially when you run into the invisible walls. Invisible walls are almost as bad invis as invisible plot walls. I'm not sure which one's worse, but hey, you gotta deal with them both, I guess. Oh, come on. Do damage to him. There's no leader in here, as far as I can tell, so we have to uh, clobber all of them, which is fine. That means we get more stuff out of it, so I'm cool with that, really. We could switch over to another Chunky Gangster and target him that way, but I don't think it'll actually charge the game much faster since it'll be like, oh, a new target, we're going to take longer to charge or something. Come on, break his gauge. There you go. I don't think that actually helped us too much, but whatever. Uh, let's keep this guy out of the loop here. Alright, there we go. He is officially done, I think. Okay, Leanne, you want to stop getting a... gang raped over there, pretty much. That's more or less what's happening at this point. She's just kind of taking all the abuse. And I should have uh, ran past them because, yeah, there's a little bit of shield there. Whatever he's wearing, his, his diaper, I guess, is protected him too well. Uh, Leanne, try not to die here, please. That's all I ask, really. Thank you. There we go. Alright, one of them is about to be dead. Uh, Leanne is also one of those that's about to be dead here. Uh, let's go ahead and get a... First aid. Actually, how much is it? That cures a thousand, right? That should be enough, I think. Okay, good. As long as you don't, like, actually die here, that'd be great. Thanks. Feel free to shatter his health bar. Yeah, no such luck. Okay. Uh, Leanne, I'm gonna have to use the other thing on you, because you are just taking all the damage here. There we go. Now she's back to being healthy. We're gonna have to be able to buy those things at some point. Uh, do not attack the bronze box, like, at all. Thanks. There might be something good in there, or it could just be, like, a troll box that gives you dog droppings or something. I'm not sure. They are, they are, these, these damn enemies are pros at turning their angle, at, at turning at just the right angle to have their, uh, what is it, their one little piece of armor in the, in the path of the bullets that are being shot at them, like, they are excellent at making sure that your shot, if you're just standing there, not moving, will guarantee to be hit something that's going to absorb the damage there. Like, they're never nice enough to just stand there and take a shot. Ever. Okay, leave Leanne alone. And I just realized we're about to run out of Son of a bitch. Bezel system, I hate you. I really do. Kill him. <sighs> Kill him. You fuck. I really hate the fucking bezel system in this game. Hey, 
after three turns of attacking, they're gonna they're gonna be completely screwed, and the enemy's gonna heal a full. How's that for an idea? A oh, great boss. That sounds fantastic. I hate this fucking bezel shit. I really do. And then they act all excited when they give you a, a quarter of a bezel when you need four after a boss fight. I mean, okay, they should have probably they should have done like the Legend of Zelda thing. Uh, major chapter bosses give you a full bezel, and then you find the little uh, bezel shards outside of uh, the bosses. You know, that way when you're halfway through the game, you don't have two extra bezels of what, from when you started. Okay, let's go. Uh, I might be able to get some of your health here, but no, they're gonna fuck me over with sniping me from a distance. Okay, there we go. Right, some damage there. There we go. And Vacheron's about to get fucked here with his health being gone. Which means we're going to lose a bezel, which better not fucking put me in condition critical, because I hate that fucking crap. I really and truly do. <sighs> okay, try this fucking crap again. You know what? Aim for the guy that's nearest the wall, that way we don't have to deal with him. Because he's a real pain in the ass to deal with just from the way he's positioned. How the fuck did that miss all your shields? Or not miss all your shields. How did it, how did it miss the, like, the exposed part? Right next to you, your dude. There. You're dead. Goodbye. Alright, now can I potentially destroy any of your shields before we get too far into the motherfucking goddamn piece of shit wall? Oh, I hate these. You know, I'm not attacking you. You're too fucking close. I'm not gonna play with that crap. Okay, good. You're full scratch. I don't have to deal with you. And just to make sure we don't have to deal with you, let's go ahead and... Try to get some of these guys' armors off. Uh, we need someone to heal. Uh... The problem is if we switch over to... This. I don't think it's gonna hit that far away, is it? I guess it will. It'll just take a while to get it. Okay. I wasn't sure if they actually reached that far across the uh, screen. I guess it just suffers the uh, same uh, fate as... shooting from a distance, I guess. It'd be nice if we could charge it up and use more than one per turn, but oh well. There you go, get rid of you. Okay, these guys are definitely turning out to not be as easy as I thought they were probably going to be, just for the fact that they're, I don't know, they're not ridiculously strong, they're just strong enough to be irritating, I guess. 
Which really is all they need to be. Uh, Leanne, we can put you back on your damaging duty, I think. And there we go. These guys, done. This bronze box better be worth it. It's probably not going to be, but I could hope. There we go, finally. Hey, you guys are irritating, let's just say that. And feel free to be something good here. Anti-heat. Uh, I think they're trying to say that the area coming up is going to have uh, enemies that you want to be heat resistant for. Because I think there's a energy station or terminal out near the out near the uh, area we got to go to that's heat damage minus X percent or something like that I think okay C block we got L block and then other blocks let's go to R block real fast yeah well that goes and then we'll go to the uh, save point and be done for a little while here okay you're two points and we got to deal with all of you guys you know what you go first. Try to get these guys out of their freaking shells here. Okay, you're kind of out of the shell, but not really. Yeah, you guys suck because you're a real pain in the ass to get the uh, get the damage out of. Uh, and you got bazookas. Okay, these guys probably not that bad with the bazooka dwellers things. Probably not too much of a pain in the ass. Yeah, you guys are weak. But yeah, a little bit of damage, but nothing really major. These guys, not strong or anything. Just a real pain in the ass to damage them. Because no matter what happens, you have to attack them at least a couple times to get their shield off. Uh, and then you die. And then after you destroy the shield, which you're forced to destroy, you can't just ignore it like you can some other people. No. Uh, let's get... Okay, you're dead. Goodbye. Now as for you. Yeah, you can't just ignore their shield. You actually have to deal with it if you, whether you want to or not. I and mean, once you get back down to the, uh, the little underneath mimic, they're pretty easy. But it's just irritating to have to deal with the little bastards. Okay, there we go. You're taking a little bit of damage there. It's not bad. Uh, your bazooka is more like a blow dart or a blow gun or something like that. And with just enough damage to not completely kill you there, dude. Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Try to get rid of some of your armor just to make it a little easier for our next round here. Okay. You know, I'm going to get you some damage here because you're in the way. Are you guys going after... Zephyr, is that why you guys are prancing around over there? No, you're going after Leanne. These guys are very single-minded and they're targeting. Like, they'll choose a person and then they'll chase them halfway across the damn map just to get like a point of damage on them or something. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Okay, but you're kind of taken care of. Goodbye. Okay, let's go ahead and finish you off. 
Is that guy just still standing over there? I don't think that guy over on the side has actually moved any. Like, I don't... Okay, now he's moving towards us, but before that, he was just kind of chilling there and not really doing a whole lot. Okay, goodbye for you. And for you. We still gotta take care of the second drum that you're wearing, because for some reason you decide that two oil drums is the fashion statement of the century. I don't know where you come up with this jump, but goodbye. I don't care how full your scratch damage is, I'm just gonna pump you full of lead right now, because you're irritating. There we go. Uh, go back to this guy where we actually need him. Okay. Scrap bronze or quality meats, which I don't really care about. I don't think there's anything uh, hiding around here. Or gold, trash can wise or anything like that. Okay, good. So let's go in here, see what we got. Uh, missile gear. Gold box. I can't tell how many gold boxes are here, if it's one or two or however many. But let's start with this guy. These guys are never usually too much of a challenge unless they're level 54, which still shouldn't be that bad, I don't think. Okay, we gotta actually take care of your uh, armor. Uh, let's not go into the wall there. Uh, let's see, this might actually be a good chance to use some um, electric grenades. I hope. Or we could actually, you know, not pick them up again like I always do, no matter how often I tell myself to not do that. Okay, let's uh, go over here. Jump, 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 jump. You're so close to being dead, it's ridiculous. Uh, Leanne, you're also kind of close to being dead. It's uh, also ridiculous, but not in the way that I like. Here, go this way. Thank you. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad, really. Mainly because their armor seems to destroy real easy. Like, or at least that's what it seems like. Uh, ow, that kind of didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. And there's a third guy over there that I just didn't even notice. I didn't even see that guy. These guys, or this game in general, is just really good at having enemies you don't notice off in the corner because they're just uh, kind of silent stalkers or something. They just kind of hang out in the distance without saying anything. And then you think you're done with the fight, and it's like, surprise, it's me, the other guy that you didn't realize was here and uh, do not bazooka me please and I know you're just trying to do your job and I can respect that a little bit but bazooka is someone else like your friend uh, Zephyr you kind of need to be healed uh, let's go ahead and do that There we go. Uh, you know, let's go back to the uh, grenade here, see if it works. I don't think it's doing a lot of damage, but I think it is stunning them, which is great. Okay, well, it broke their gauge a little bit, which is uh, awesome. And we're about to... <sighs> shit. I was not paying attention there, uh, so we're going to have to retry because, well, we're about to go into condition critical, and I'd rather not. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get this guy in the middle here because this way I don't have to worry about the stupid uh, wall being in the way. Perfect. Scratch damage full. I'll take it. That means we don't have to deal with you at all.
kill him. Thank you. Alright, now I'll go for this guy, try to get uh, some of his armor, like, you know, the stuff that's shooting his missiles at us. That'd be great. And no such luck. Oh well. I was hoping that the electro grenades would have done a lot of damage to these guys or something, but it didn't seem like it was actually uh, working out that way. Oh well. It seems like this particular fight is working out a little better. Except for the part where they fucking obliterated my HP. You fucks. And your frickin' shield is just enough in the way. Kill him. You attacked me and then you fucking moved out of the way. I hate you. I really do. Can I just get this stuff back so I don't have to worry about my health being shattered off to the four corners of the fucking planet here? Time to lick my wounds. And here I thought this fight was going to go easier because we actually got into a good position. And I guess I was mistaken. Why did you not attack him? I was charging up. Why did you just sit there and scratch your ass? All right, I'm gonna retry this one more time and then Pick a target, kill. not screw myself over, I hope. Okay, full scratch, you're dead, goodbye. I don't have to deal with you at all. I don't know how they obliterated my HP so quickly last time. That was ridiculous. Yeah, target that guy, the guy that's twice as far away. Good job, guy. I'm proud of you there, moron. Now I know if they I know if they uh take off all your HP, then yeah, they'll uh shatter the bezels, but I don't think they took off all our HP that time. They just decided to screw our bezels over for whatever reason. Shatter your shields, there you go. Yeah, because we still have plenty of HP left. It could be something like every thousand HP they take off, but they've taken off plenty of HP right now and it doesn't seem to be affecting us too much. And I'm not always sure how this stuff works. Like by not always sure, I mean half half the time I have no clue. There we go. You are dead. I'm not gonna deal with you anymore because Ow, that does a lot of uh missiles just to screw me over there. Okay, that looks like it's gonna take off something there, I hope. Or not. That looked like it should have taken off something there, but eh, I guess the uh, the handguns really do suck for that kind of stuff. Sometimes, sometimes the handguns will just say, "Oh, I'm gonna take everything off there," and it'd be, "Hey, that's fantastic! You actually did something." And other times, it's like, "Nah, not today. You're not gonna get anything out of it." Okay, good. You're dead. Goodbye. Do not condition critical. Me. Do not. There. Good. Bye. Okay, scrap missile stuff, which I don't think we care about too much. Let's grab this. High mount delete. Okay, cool. So something for our guns. Okay, so next episode we're going to go ahead and, well, clear out the rest of this uh, the Etsia area. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.